So I recently found something really cool in Photoshop uh, CC. Um, I think it's even in, I think it goes pretty far back actually, I just never was aware of it. Uh, it's called the Generate Assets option. And it's really awesome. So here's what I want it to do. Uh, I'm working on this logo for a client and here is the rough sketch and basically what I normally do is draw up a couple different font options and then once they pick one then I'll go back in and sort of stylize the text and render it a bit more. Uh, but I like to start with a couple different options to uh, get um, to get their feedback from. So before I would have to basically resize and save each of these drafts because I don't want to send them a big file, uh, I want to send them a low res JPEG. Um, what I found, uh, it, it, this is so cool, all you got to do is name, uh, or let me show you what, what's in these layer groups, right? Um, basically I've got a whole group with the mascot and the text and what have you, and I usually label the draft um, by, a let, uh, by a letter so it makes it easier for them to give me feedback. Uh, all you got to do is when you name the layer group or the layer, whatever you want to generate, you just have to put the file name. Um, so it could be .ping, it could be .jpeg, j uh, .gif, whatever. And I did that with each of these. So here's another version, same mascot, different text. Uh, just change the letter to B, .jpeg, C, and D, right? There are a, a million different, okay, a million might be going a little far, but there are a bunch of different options that you can write in the file name um, that tell Photoshop what size you want to generate these at. Uh, and even what subfolder to put it in. Um, but even better, you can basically write a blank layer and call it default. And here, I want to save all of these guys at 10% of their size. And I want to put it in a subfolder called drafts. Okay. That way, this is really useful because when I send this to the client, he might have changes to the mascot. Uh, he's probably going to have changes to the type. Um, I can go back here and very easily change any of these things or even add new subfolders um, or new layer groups rather. But all I got to do when I'm done is just go to File, Generate Image Assets. Okay. Um, when you click that, it barely even barely even does anything actually, which is, which is cool. It doesn't even have to open the files or save as. Um, you just find the, the, uh, the folder where the file was originally saved, you open it up, here's our drafts folder, and then as you can see inside I've got four JPEGs now saved and ready to go. Um, and this is, uh, I don't know, I find this really cool. Uh, previously, I was using things like the, in scripts, you can use the, um, where is it? Sometimes I would export layers to files, which is, isn't as useful because basically I would have to first merge each of these layer groups into a layer because it won't just export a group uh, by itself. Um, you can also use, uh, let's see. The image processor as well, but the image processor is only going to um, only going to save the uh, basically a snapshot of the entire image. So anyway, I thought that was really cool. Uh, most people probably already know about that, and to that I say thanks a lot for not telling me. All right, thank you.